Hello everybody and welcome to another Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. This is number one done and today I'll be talking about one of the new DLC maps that recently came out called Ignition. You'll be watching me play this game for the first time so I'd never played this map ever. So it was a um, search and rescue and I was using the DLC weapon, the Maverick. I found it totally suitable for this map. It was really easy to use. The attachments I had were grip, muzzle brake and um, the perks I was using was Ready Up, Stalker, Amplify, Quick Draw and Focus. I was using Support Streaks, Satcom, Ballista Vest and Ground Jammer. Um, found it really easy to coordinate myself around the map. As you all know, like it's a reconstruction of the Scrapyard, a map from um, MW2. And I really love that map. Like I used to always snipe on that map and it had good lines of sight and just totally loved it. But um, it's been reconstructed into a rocket testing ground and has quite a few twists in terms of um, dynamics. So um, one of the first dynamics that it has is obviously the field order um, F1 engine test. Um, a player will basically just activate this and for 10 seconds a rocket um, engine will burn the tunnels and anything like where the person was. So like. It would just basically incinerate them. It's a good um, field order to get, and also in the northeast corner of um, the map, there will be a counter, a timer that goes down from 60 seconds. And after 60 seconds of gameplay, announcer will start counting down the final seconds. And when it reaches zero, a rocket in the background do um, fly off and basically explode or something like a bit of it will explode and scraps will basically fall down into the lower right of the map basically where the a flag used to be on mw3 and anything underneath that basically will just get crushed killing it <laughs> so it's a really good um, twist that they put in there i like it and in the laboratory to the west of the map there's also a button that says hold to initiate initiate rocket test and basically doing this will kill anyone um, will cause an engine to fire and killing anyone who's in front of it basically who walks in front of it so don't be stupid and walk in front of that else you're, you're dead <laughs> but yeah all these twists are really good and I love the fact that they've added that to the maps now like all these dynamics it makes it more interesting and really fun to play but unfortunately in this gameplay like you don't see me using any of these. I was just trying to work out my way around the map again, getting used to it. But nevertheless, now that I've played it a few more times, I'm really loving it. It's one of my favourite maps that they brought out. Um I've played it about I'd say ten times now and every time it comes up I'm choosing that map. It's really good. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment of what you thought about the video maybe hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe like i'll be bringing out content every few days every day like just get updated on the latest call of duty buzz that's going around and the videos that are coming from me anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you later Excellent job, Ghosts. Get ready for the next round. Kill confirmed. 
confirmed. Bombs implanted. Ground jammer ready. Kill confirmed. Friendly ground jammer active. Kill confirmed. SATCOM uplink enabled. Bomb defused. We're in the lead. Nice work, ghosts. Well done.